I always reach from Spiritual and Angelic Guidance. I'm here to do a reading for Aquarius. This will be for the 9th to the 15th of August 2021. If you've seen my readings before, welcome back. Thanks for the support. If you haven't, welcome to my channel. I hope it resonates. If it does, please don't forget to share, like, and subscribe. Don't forget it's a general reading. It's not going to suit every person out there. So take what resonates, leave what doesn't. Time can be fluid. Energy can be vice versa. So keep that in mind. I'm going to do things a little bit different this time. Let me know what you think in the comments. Tell me about Aquarius. Trust issues. But the relationship is not over you. So you're still in the same relationship, but there may be trust issues. It may be justified or unjustified. Different for different people. Um, as long as you feel safe and secure. Second one you've got. There could be a lack of physical intimacy. Um, make sure you're choosing relationships for the right reasons. And also... The topic is not up for discussion. Okay, tell me more. Whoops. I feel like you're healing, you're healing your heart. Not looking to date. There could be triggers. Maybe you overreact, over respond. You need to change your perception, learn from the past. And I'll get one more. Okay. You need to have some sort of strategy about what you want. And also, <clears throat> have some sort of game plan. I feel like you don't. Are you both like minded and compatible? And is it a healthy attachment style that you have? On the bottom, you might not be talking to somebody at the moment, but somebody may, so this person may come back and tell you they like you, it's a love call, uh, someone's thinking of you and letting you know. <coughs> okay, let's get more information, do a bit more clarifying. Tell me about trust issues in the Grim Reaper. I feel like you had a, a temporary, pro uh, I can't even talk, a temporary pause for reflection and insight. You saw things in a whole new light. <clears throat> the hangman, this is about letting go, having a new perspective. It might mean you got some sort of enlightenment as well. Um, but there was a situation where you weren't feeling very victorious in. And it could be due to lack of confidence. Maybe you're not making, or somebody didn't make some wise choices. Find out more. Somebody may come in and talk about a relationship. The Page of Cups, maybe this person coming in with a love call is here to tell you <clears throat> that they like you with the Page of Cups. Page of Cups is somebody generally who's younger. Um, or they may just send a message regarding a relationship. It's also all about, all about sorry, hiccups, trusting your intuition. I feel like you're codependent you need to <clears throat> withdraw and do some work on yourself and also to make this positive movement forward um, where you're learning about what's gone on
Yeah, it's definitely about trusting your intuition. And there was some, some uncertainty in this situation. But avoid making any rash decisions. Okay, so lack of physical intimacy, let's ask. more <coughs> I feel like someone needs to speak their truth <coughs> um, the lovers in reverse the lovers in reverse is all about a misalignment of values there might be some imbalances disharmony maybe you need to have some self-love also watch what you're manifesting do you believe it? You can do it. Yeah, take some time, rest, rejuvenate, all that sort of stuff. Spend some time, maybe by yourself in, in meditation or in nature. Speak your truth, what I just said. Someone needs some make some decisions about their love life. <coughs> Maybe it's not a lack of, maybe you're just not having any sexual intimacy. Um, you need to heal your heart. As I said, there's been some triggers, um, but you're not dating at the moment or looking to date. You need to learn from the past, change your perception. Got the Eight of Pentacles in reverse. So if someone's making progress, but um, I feel like it's very slow, but they're also not, they're focused on one area of their life. I feel like you have this card here and it fell on the floor, so it could have fallen in reverse, but I feel like you're not kind of, you're too focused on one area of your life. I feel like you need to learn from that though. And... Yeah. But you've also got the Knight of Pentacles, which is somebody who's an animal lover. They're loyal, dedicated, protective. Um, plan carefully before taking action and then get going. Pay attention to the details. Wait for perfect timing. Someone watches over you. going to take strength for you to heal your heart and you are completing this lesson this is about endings and new beginnings i guess stop focusing on the negative and look at the the positives in your life and be grateful for what you have third eye chakra trust your intuition with everything you do I feel like some of you are releasing the worry there could be secrets in this situation that you don't know about um, but I feel like with the seven someone was keeping secrets and then the tower hit something needed to end something needed to change and we also need to transform to become who we're meant to be. So sometimes we've got to do work on ourselves. Um, but generally it's some big, some, some don't want to change, some big upheaval. And as I said, the plan, maybe you need to make a plan and get going. Maybe you're not, you don't really have any strategy about what you want. <clears throat> maybe someone who's like-minded, has a healthy attachment style. You've also got the four of pentacles. You want long-term security and you're being stubborn. You know, you're at a standstill. You're saving money. Of course, you're feeling down with the star in reverse. You've got lack of faith. Listen to your intu intuition. Pay attention to signs from the divine. There's unnecessary worry. Let go of your fears. Revelations that will make everything clear. 
and you're forgiving and, and becoming more optimistic after you had your heart broken. Yeah, inner strength for sure. And you've also got the Six of Pentacles in reverse. This is like having some self-care. Caring, looking after yourself. Um, something could have been a missed opportunity. You feel like your lack of direction. It could be a distraction. Choose your battles. And here you are with the nine. This is about you releasing the worry. There could be secrets, as I said. But you are having some sort of clarity, absolution, final decision. You're having a change, forgiveness, all those things. You might be married to this person or in a high level of commitment. Anything more? You haven't got an open mind. You think you don't deserve love. And you've got some family issues that need to be healed. You do have chemistry with this person though. And if someone's coming in, they're worth waiting for. Anyway, that's what I have. Um, I hope that resonates. If it does, please don't forget to share, like, and subscribe. And I'll catch you with the next reading. Thanks for watching. Bye.